Hi, Leo. Welcome to your March love reading. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. So, Leo, we're going to take a look at a love connection for you at this time. This has to be an actual connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together. You could be separated, whatever the situation, but you have to know each other and at least believe that there is some sort of connection between the two of you. So welcome, Leo. Hope everybody's doing well. So let's see what's going on for you this time, at this time in love um, for March or whenever. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, then it's not your reading. Don't try to make it fit. can also be past, present, or future. <clears throat> so let's see, Leo, what's going on? For you at this time in love and i do say at this time because i do believe all my readings are timeless so if you'd like to go back and watch past readings links are below in the description box to your general and love playlist along with the decks i'm using social media links how to reach out for personal reading if you'd like to send a gift tip or donate all that information is in the description box and i'll also pin some of that information to the top comment so leo let's see what's going on this is a Zodiac Oracle, so if we get a sun, um, sign, element, or planet. And if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, totally fine. So we have Scorpio, so some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, or they could have Scorpio in their chart. Maybe you have Scorpio in your chart. So let's see. So with this deck here, first thing I'm going to do is let's get an opening love energy for you and your person whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. Please, Spirit, for Leo, whoever they're thinking about at this time for this reading, please, thank you so much. What is the current love energy like between Leo and the person they are thinking about at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Wow. All right. <laughs> religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And it may not be just religious factors. It could be um, anything. It could be different cultural backgrounds. It could be um, anything like that. Maybe you work together and you can't be together. Or maybe, um, you know, different eth ethnicities, um, different races. I don't know, whatever. Not just religious. So let's see. So what I'm going to do, Leo is I'm going to put you on this side, your person on this side, and we're going to pull one card each for <clears throat> how you're both feeling about each other and the connection. So let's see. For Leo Spirit, please, how is Leo feeling about this person they're thinking of at this time, about them in this connection, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. So we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations for you. And let's see what your person is thinking, feeling about you, the connection. Spirit, please, for Leo's person, who they're thinking about at this time. And we have Release Your Ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So the person you're connecting with still has ties or connections to an ex. And that could be the religious factors. Maybe they're doing, you know, what's moral, just, and right in their situation, and they have to stick it through till the end while they're releasing their ex. And you're wanting a uh, heart talk conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So you want to know how they're feeling, what's going on in their life. Um, you know, maybe you have no clue what's going on. So let's see what's on the bottom. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this could be, if they're in the um, energy now of releasing an ex, then this could be forgiving and learning through the, that whole situation for them. And maybe, you know, if there's been no communication between you and this person, uh, they haven't been honest with you. I don't want to say lying, but just like not telling you what's going on in their life. You know, and maybe when these heart to heart conversations come in, you need to learn about what happened with them, why they were silent, why there was no communication and learn and forgive so that can move on from this uh, energy. So let's get the tarot and clarify this energy. Then at the end, we'll pull some uh, messages from the Lover's Oracle about this connection. 
So I do like to say uh, thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped, donated, or sent a gift. Thank you so much. All your support really does mean a lot to me. Could not do it without you guys. And thank you, thank you so much. And we have just reached 10,000 subscribers. So in honor of that, I am giving a deck giveaway along with a free 20-minute reading by me. You'll uh, receive your reading with that deck, and then I will send you that deck. So if you'd like to enter the contest, I will put a link to where you can enter for the contest, probably in the description box and in the pinned comment. Um, the contest will be open till the end of March. I will close at the beginning of April, and then I'll pick a winner. So if you're interested in that, find the link. Um, <clears throat> the link will lead you to the discussion part of the community tab of the channel where I made a post about it. And it'll tell you all the details and how to enter. And if you do, uh, thank you and good luck. So Leo, Leo, Leo. So what's going on with you with these heart-to-heart -heart conversations with you and your person, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Oh, I wanted to do it that way. So we have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Three of Swords. Wow. So <laughs> I feel like, wow, you're really heartbroken over this um, connection. Maybe you worked with them. The Three of Pentacles is about working together. But you're really, unless you were in a third party situation for some of you, if not, uh, I feel like you're very heartbroken over the connection. Um, you want to work it out with them. You want to work together with them in this connection. You want to have that conversation. How can we work this out? Uh, take smart, practical, slow steps forward. Working together, working through the heartache and pain. You know, and it could be you know that they have heartache and pain because they're um, releasing something here. All right, so let's see what your person has with release your X. Okay. So we have the two of wands and we have the five of swords. So they're at a crossroads right now. And the five of swords can be, you know, getting ahead at any cost or giving up and feeling defeated or fighting on for victory. So they may feel, you know, defeated over this, you know, releasing of the X here and feel like they're at a crossroads, like they've been through a lot, like not sure if they can handle like a new connection because <clears throat> they feel like they really um, feel defeated over the situation of releasing their X. I feel like defeated in love and they're not sure what they want to do with the two of wands. They're looking out and they're like, do I go my own way? Do I venture into this new connection? And you know, you know, they've been hurt with the three swords energy. So let's see what the actual situation is between the two of you, Leo and your person, whoever you are thinking of at this time. So we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah. So you've been waiting for them. <laughs> you've, may have invested a lot into this connection somehow and you're assessing it you're analyzing it you're patiently waiting to see what's going to happen what what will blossom yeah and you're in retreat mode here just kind of waiting it out healing thinking contemplating just kind of waiting waiting two cards of waiting for this person page of pentacles so this is very stable communication uh, of some kind um, so there could be some sort of stable communication between the two of you so let's see the Sun so they definitely have you on their mind because the Sun is Leo so they're definitely thinking of you and they're thinking about what it would be like to be with Leo would it be happy would it be joyous would it be successful? Would it be healing? Would it be happy times? And would, they be, would there be growth and abundance? What else? We got the Hierophant. So now we have commitment here. So they definitely could be getting out of a marriage. But they're thinking of you. 
I think they know that this, uh, with the X is defeated, that there's uh, no hope for that. But they're looking out in the distance, deciding what to do here. But they're definitely thinking of you. And this is marriage, commitment, doing what's moral, just, and right. So I figure they're doing the right thing, especially with religious factors, like following it religiously, what they need to do um, to follow it through. So I think they're very dedicated to that, to doing what's moral, just, and right. But they definitely are thinking of you. And we have the stable communication. This could be the heart, heart conversations eventually between the two of you may take some time because pentacles are slow, but it's trustable, it's stable, it's grounded. Communication, so so I do see eventually communication coming in here, it may take a while, but they're definitely thinking of you while they're doing the right thing in their situation, but also trying to decide what road they want to go down in the future, but still thinking of you. All right, so let's see what the advice is for this connection for you, Leo. So we have the Two of Pentacles, so feeling imbalanced here. Eight of Pentacles, so this energy of working, a lot of Pentacle energy here. So you definitely maybe could have worked with this person at one time. So Eight of Pentacles about putting in the dedicate, dedicated effort and the hard work. Now the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, imbalance. All right, this is the advice for the connection. Now we have the Seven of Wands, which is about being defensive or fighting, standing up and fighting for this. So, you know, the Two of Pentacles can be about feeling in balance, trying to balance things out. But then we have the Six of Pentacles, which is balance. So we have the Eight of Pentacles of working on things, working, putting in the dedicated effort and the seven of wands of fighting for it and not giving up. So the advice is not to give up, to keep working on this connection, slow, stable, secure, uh, baby steps. Balance will come, even though things do not seem balanced right now, but it's gonna take time. Pentacles are very, very slow. So it will take time. And are you willing to put in the time and effort and wait it out? Because I do see balance coming in and it's telling you not to give up with the Seven of Wands energy, to stand up and fight for it. All right, so let's see what the outcome of this situation, this love connection is for you, Leo. Possible outcome, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Four of Pentacles. Wow, a lot of Pentacles here. Four of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. <clears throat> and the ace of cups so wow the possible outcome is if you hold on and don't let go of this person but you may need to hold back and restrain just a little bit give them space and time while they're going through their process here i do see f eventually someone will reach out and you see here, someone will reach out, whether it's you or them, and it will be accepted because you see now the hand accepting the pentacle. So an offer will be given and an offer will be accepted in the future. Like I said, it's going to take time, but I feel for right now, the outcome is by you giving them space and time to release and go through their process here, um, offer eventually will come in. It could be from them. We do have the page of pentacles right in the middle of the spread which is like the offer of something. And here's the offer here. Here's the offer being accepted here, which will lead to this brand new beginning in love, love and emotions overflowing, to divinely guided energies with the pentacle and the ace of cups. This could lead to a long-term um, commitment or relationship of some kind. A lot of love and emotions, a lot of stability, growth, expansion for the long-term, built on a firm foundation. Four of Pentacles is that for, for, um, firm, if I can talk, firm foundation. So that's the energy of holding on, not letting go, but yet holding back just a little bit until they're able to come forward with their offer here. And we do have soulmate energy with the sun here. So possible soulmate twin flame energy. 
Wow. Ace of Cups, Soulmate Love. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Seven of Swords. So yeah, they're trying to get out of a situation, probably a toxic situation. They're trying to leave it behind, trying to get out of that. They're in limbo right now because of that situation while they're releasing their ex. But they're becoming enlightened and they're seeing new perspectives. And then here comes that communication with the Eight of Wands, Cupid's Arrow striking. Fast travel action communication while they're closing out a cycle, getting ready for a new cycle to start. While they're ending something here with death and transforming for a new beginning. Taking lead, taking control, taking charge. Now we have the Divine Masculine here. Taking charge of their life, their situation, moving forward. As the King of Wands, this is also your energy. Or fellow fire sign, Leo Sag Aries. Coming forward, a lot of drive, fire, ambition. Um, and uh, going after what they want. Making a judgment call here. Judgment bringing the two soulmates together. Forgiveness, here's the forgiveness here. Judgment is about forgiveness, resurrection, soulmates coming back together, making a final decision here. And moving forward with victory, balance, energy, drive, ambition, justice. They could be going through a divorce, so you let need to let them go through what they need to go through here if, if it's a divorce. So we have Libra here, we have Cancer, we have Scorpio, we have Leo Sag Aries, we have Aries, we have Scorpio, Capricorn uh, is the fixed signs, which I believe is Leo, Scorpio, um, I'm not sure the others, and then we have Pisces, and then over here we have, let's see, we have Leo, we have Taurus. Let's see, I don't want to miss anything. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, so those are other signs that I see. Wow. So I do see they're trying to release. They're possibly going through a divorce or something like that. <clears throat> and I feel like if you give them space and time, let them go through this process. And um, I feel like they definitely are thinking of you through this whole process because they have the sun on their side. Eventually an offer will be made. It could be from them, which will lead to long-term stability and love. Wow, nice. Okay, so definitely soulmate twin flame with the sun energy there. And especially what we uh, did see judgment there, which brings the soulmates together. All right, so let's see what your extra messages are here, Leo. I do ask Leo, especially if you're new, if you like my style, how I read, please feel free to check out my channel if you like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get five readings a month. You get two love, two general, and a bonus. So let's see what the extra messages are for Leo with this love connection for Leo. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Okay, feeling this one. And we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So I think Spirit wants you to trust in the process, trust in um, what's happening here. All right, just trust in divine energy, divine timing, and it will automatically transform in the future. All right, so let's see what else here. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So I think you'll be making a lot of memories with this person, and you may be with them until the time you both pass. So this could be a definitely a lifelong uh, partner here for you, Leo. So we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So I, I'm getting, sending them light and love and healing energy as they're going and healing through their process and closing this cycle out. <clears throat> and we have reflection. Give each other space at the moment. 
trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And reflection kind of reminds me of uh, a mirror image, like your reflection. And mirroring definitely is a sign of twin flames. You mirror each other. And we have here freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So I definitely feel like here um, they are gaining their freedom. They're releasing an ex, possibly getting divorced. And I think just trust the process. Let them go through what they need to go through. And I think an offer will be made and it'll learn it will lead to long-term stability and love with a soulmate here. Wow, Leo. Okay, Leo. So best of luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.